Fully Mobile is a series that I created to show that you can do anything on old school RuneScape Mobile. We have taken on some of RuneScape's <laughs> biggest challenges, but I want more. <laughs> We spent an ungodly amount of time in the corrupted gauntlet for the bow of Fyrdinan. We've put so many hours into getting high level equipment to enjoy end game PVM. For now I'd like to ease off a bit. There's something I want to talk about before we get into the high level gaming. Today's video is going to be centered around 99 construction, but I'd also like to talk about our plan to eventually max this account. In between these multi-month long grinds, I've been doing a lot of things in the background and it is so hard to get all of this content and fluidly put it in between these videos. And so I'd like to take a chance to regroup, take a snapshot of all of my stats at the moment, and explain what I'm going to be doing in the future, and also explain a few of the things I've already done uh, during the big grinds of uh, Commander Ziliana, the Infernal Cape that we did, and also the recent grind, Corrupted Gauntlet. Lo and behold, our humble stats. To explain these stats methodically, I'd like to start with the 99s that we've already achieved and go through them in chronological order. Starting with our first 99, which you all know is fire making. This was achieved at the one and only Winter Tot. For an Iron Man starting out, this is a, it's a strategy that's never been heard of before so original that if you can't tell that's very sarcastic <laughs> the second 99 of the account was thieving and primarily we did a lot of our training at pyramid plunder for this video i went back and watched that video and i was cracking up like <laughs> oh it's such a good video um if you haven't watched it go back and watch it the next skill we mastered was fishing and we got 99 entirely from barbarian fishing again i went back and watched the video and like they're, they're so poorly made i'm looking back now knowing all of the skills and, and everything i've learned during this journey and they're so badly made but they are so funny oh my goodness <laughs> here's where it gets a bit messy the combat stats were all maxed in succession whilst doing slayer and a lot of bossing 99 strength was the first which I distinctly remember was on an aberrant spectre's task. This was closely followed by 99 hit points on a black demon's task, 99 attack during the abyssal sire, 99 defense was achieved during a necreal's task where we were defensively bursting them, 99 magic was at Zolra when we were searching for the serpentine visage, and the last of our combat 99s was ranged, and this was achieved during a raid in the chambers of Zerik. And then amongst all the Slayer and combat, we achieved 99 farming and this was done through basically daily tree runs. And throughout that process, we also did quite a bit of expert farming contracts. It is now time to get our head up and look towards the future. With all of our current 99s explained, it is time to make a plan to achieve that gorgeous Infernal Max Cape. I think the easiest way is to just go from top to bottom, so we'll start with mining. In our Inferno preparation video, we set our sights on 89 mining, which did turn into 90 because it wasn't realistic to boost from 89 to get Amethyst. With the amount of Amethyst we had to mine for the Inferno, we now have 94 mining. Absolutely insane. <laughs> I would love to do some shooting stars, that's always been on my list. I've always wanted that golden prospector for that absolute bougie, bougie outfit to show everyone else that I'm actually better than them. With enough stardust to complete that goal, 
um, we'll move on to other things like blast mining because we've got heaps of dynamite I want to use up. And the mother load mine is a fantastic AFK activity that I can do whilst I edit videos so I'm not wasting time. Agility has been one of those skills that's had slow, constant progression in the background. Initially we trained the skill passively through barbarian fishing and then moved on to directly train it at the Sears Village course in order to obtain the graceful outfit. Since the Sears Village course I haven't really reported much on agility. I did need to obtain quite a few marks of grace in order to get stamina potions for Commander Ziliana. This slowly led up to the point where I was able to do the Ardoin course, although I did have to boost continuously with Summer Pies. To achieve 99 we will just keep going with the Ardoin course because that is best XP per hour. Although to spice things up a bit I'm very keen to try the Hallowed Sepulchre, a very challenging way to train agility. And I've heard that it's especially hard on mobile so I'm very keen to give it a go. Smithing should be relatively straightforward. The ores that we'll obtain from Mother Load Mine, Blast Mining and also a lot of coal from the Kingdom of Miscellanea. This will set us up quite well in order to just make things from bars or give the giant's foundry a go which I am very keen to explore. Again herb lore is pretty straightforward as well, we just need to make potions in order to get experience. Lots of these herbs are coming from Kingdom of Miscellanea, we've got quite a few herb seeds that we still need to do runs for, I should probably get onto that sooner rather than later. And I've noticed I've got a ton of unfinished potions which I haven't collected the secondaries for, um, so that's easy XP right there. Cooking is much like um if you've played bingo and you've got the free square in the middle, cooking seems to be that free skill which just isn't too taxing, it goes by pretty quickly and for an Iron Man it's not too bad as well. We've got a ton of grapes from Zolra to make wine and to be honest there's no shortage of methods for cooking. As you can see I'm not too bothered about this skill, it should be absolutely fine. Now as straightforward as prayer sounds just offering bones to the god of your choice, there is a few things that I do want to do as not to waste the bones that we'll get from it. I want to return to the Dagonoth Kings and preferably I'd like to do this on task. With the completion of the Relica Diary all of the Dagonoth Kings bones will be noted. This makes collecting Dagonoth bones quite viable. However the main bulk of our prayer experience will come from Vorkath again. I do want to get a Draconic Visage and we might as well get prayer experience while we search for that. I have a video dedicated to the creation of Zenite jewellery and getting 93 crafting so I can boost to make a torture which requires 98. Having really bad RNG can sometimes benefit you in the long run. Going 1766 corrupted gauntlets dry for the Bow of Ferdinand has supplied us with enough uncut gems to, to possibly get 99. I haven't worked it out yet but there are so many gems and that is so much XP. That'll be exciting to find out. Any shortcomings of XP can be made up by molten glass. We've got so much sand and so much seaweed. Fletching, oh, like we have so many logs that this shouldn't be an issue. We'll chop them into short bows or something. Again, basically a free skill. I don't think we're gonna have any issues with this one. Woodcutting, now this is an interesting one. Initially we grinded out 85 to boost with a spicy stew to complete the Karend and Kebos Elite Diary. Following on from that I found out that a master clue step required you to chop a redwood log. Instead of having to boost every time for that skill, I just grinded out a couple more levels, mainly with just yew trees because they were really AFK, and then using the dragon axe special attack, you can boost up to 90 to then chop the log as long as you can chop it within 60 seconds or whatever the decay timer is. To bridge the gap between 87 and 90, I actually chopped quite a bit of blister wood trees to get to 90 because my plan from there is to just do redwoods until 99. This supplies us with redwood logs to then make the appropriate birdhouses for when we want to do hunter which is, I might as well follow on to that, hunter I want to do completely passively through birdhouse runs. Absolutely achievable and this also gives us secondaries for Sarah Doman brews that feeds back into herb lore. Now we touched on Slayer before when we were talking about prayer. I mean we're 98 at the moment so it's pretty trivial but what I'd like to do in that short amount of XP is to go to the Dagonoth Kings. I'll probably finish off this Aviancy's task that I have. I haven't done any Slayer since the Armadil video. Honestly we'll just see what Slayer tasks we get and we'll make it work for ourselves. 
I never thought I'd say this, but I'm actually quite excited for runecrafting. Guardians of the Rift is a new minigame, well, relatively new, where you can train runecrafting, but also get your hands on some really cool things, like the pouch upgrade, and also uh, there's an outfit as well, which gives you extra blood runes, extra runes when you're crafting a whole bunch of them. So we definitely want to do that first, before we jump back into blood runecrafting, or soul runecrafting. That's what I'm going to do mainly. I don't like the abyss, so I'll just do the Rend rune crafting route. And finally, construction. Let's get 99 right now, shall we? Well, we are going to try out the new Mahogany Homes. I heard it's really good XP for the supplies that you have to use, and because we're an Iron Man, those are very precious to us. Mahogany Homes is so mobile friendly. I wanna finish the carpenter set, I wanna get Amy saw, and we may even go straight to 99. Picking up from where we left off, 83 construction was our last milestone that was completed in our last video which we did construction with. We don't have all of the supplies lined up to do 99 right now but we'll go back and get more planks when we need to. I'm using NPC contact, I did have to make a few tablets for this which is a bit annoying and we might try the other method just teleporting to Felidor each time. Let's get it. That's pretty cool, drinking a cup of tea whilst 84. Construction. Nice. We have enough points for our first unlockable, the plank sack. This is the first unlock you should always get because it actually decreases the amount of times you have to bank. You can sometimes get four contracts in a row. Uh, we're using the Lunar Spell Plank Make. This is great for AFK, uh, but the Butler method is a lot faster. Oh, uh, there you go, 85 construction. You saw that for about 0 0.3 seconds, so <laughs> enjoy that. Uh, we've got no time to celebrate, we are absolutely steamrolling through this. This is so much fun. I love it, I love it, let's get going. I am so trash at getting these level up screens. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say now. I had it all lined up and it just crept up on me like that. <laughs> that, my dear friends, is 86 construction. Let's keep pushing. This is, this is going really fast. We have enough points for the first piece of our carpenter's outfit. We're going Gucci on this one and going for the most expensive one first. The carpenter's shirt. 800 points. Oh my god, I'm ruining this video. I can't get a single construction level to stay on the screen. <laughs> All right, 87 construction. I was too eager to get in contact with Amy using NPC contact. Uh, we're running quite low on these tablets, and so we'll probably switch to the Falador method very soon. Another 600 points later, and we are able to buy another piece of the outfit. Carpenter's trousers. It's starting to come together. It's, it's actually looking really cool. Oh my goodness, look at those thighs. She squats, she absolutely squats. That's undeniable. <laughs> All right, let's keep pushing. Uh, 88 constructions, not too far away as well. We're well over halfway because they're the two most expensive items of the set. All right, you can see like, the XP, we've already got 88 construction. I'm not gonna screw it up this time. It's going to be flawless. Boom, look at that. 88 construction. We've got more than six frames of seeing the level up for construction this time around, so I don't suck as a YouTuber. I'm, I'm, I'm not a failure at life. 88 construction, let's flip and go.
now we've got 400 points we're not wasting any time straight to the store bomb helmet done look at it all we have left is the shoes and that's for the 2.5 percent bonus for construction experience and then we want amy saw I, I have to admit it looks cool with the set Two hundred points all completed. This is the last piece of all of the experience boosting parts of the construction outfit. Let's have a look at them. And s oh, of course, there's a table in the way. Bro, come on! Oh my goodness! And then there's a bit of grass in the way. Oh, <laughs> uh, I just want to look at the boots. Oh, all right, completed outfit. Look at that. Two point five percent more experience from the fruits of our labor. This is going to be great. Now the only thing remaining is Amy's saw, which I'd like to get just for how it looks. Technically I'll save one inventory slot. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference, but I guess it's it's a bit of a flex, isn't it? A bit of a flex. Oh. Hosidious blueprints. I did forget about that actually. To be honest, at the rate that we're going at the moment, we're gonna buy one for sure. Amy saw some blueprints, and probably whatever's left over will just get some uh, supply crates. Woohoo! Eighty nine construction. I've no I, I'm just in such a good mood. I love this mini game. It is chill. It is so chill. It's a nice break from uh, doing the corrupted gauntlet. That place is an absolute shit hole. <laughs> Ninety construction. I'm gonna keep blasting through these contracts. I've decided that I want to get the Hasidious Blueprints first before Amy saw because I want to bougie out my house before I have a useless saw, in all honesty. <laughs> so 660 points at the moment, we need 2000, it is flying by, absolutely flying by. Ninety-one construction. <laughs> we got no time for that. We are in the zone. We're in the absolute zone. We are firing through these contracts. So much experience. We are on that grind. The most expensive reward of them all. The Hosidious Blueprints. Two thousand. Two thousand carpenter points. But we have achieved it. It did take a while, but we did it. It's time to spice up our house. It's, I think, fancy stone at the moment. Uh, so all we have to do is talk to the housing agent and get him to redecorate our house with the use of these blueprints. Nice and fresh, nice and fresh. I mean, it is kind of like a combination between fancy stone and like, what, the, the basic wood one, the first one? Uh, it's nice though, it's a nice change. It feels quite homely. And that's 93 construction. And we can build a marble adventurer log. Hmm, maybe I will, maybe I will. <laughs> 94 construction. Even though the experience rates are the same theoretically throughout, it feels like it's getting a bit faster. I don't know why, I don't know why. Maybe I'm just losing track of time. <laughs> It is time to complete the set in its entirety. We, I thought to myself, no, I'm not gonna get the saw because it's absolutely useless, but I might as well, like, look at how many points we've got. I might as well get it. Nine. 
95 construction. That's a good level because we don't need to boost to get rid of one of our superior gardens because we can do the combination of the spirit tree and the fairy ring. So good. Woo! 96 construction. That felt like a long level. Oh my god, that's so daunting. Seeing that it's a whole million XP until the next one, that's when things start to get a bit grindy. But the end is in sight. Believe it or not, time flies when you're having so much fun. This is our 2000th contract. 2000th contract. We have such little amount of points because I cashed out like a good, I want to say 4000 points in the supply crates to get the steel bars so I didn't have to go and make them. But that's, that's a huge number, 2000 contracts. Unbelievable. And that's 97 construction. Goodness gracious. Only two more levels to go. Look at this guy. This guy went out of his way to tell me that he has a laptop and that I am a pussy bitch. We've just been that's my career over. We've been cancelled. We're gone. <laughs> and what a better way to get 98 construction than with a hat stand. One of the most annoying pieces of furniture to fix in this bloody house. But there you have it, 98, one more level to go. On the 30th of November, an update came out which increased the amount of XP that you would normally get from quests. And if you had already done the quests, you could retroactively go back to Purdue and claim these rewards. And that's what we did. But we tactically stopped short of 99 construction so that I could plan something special with the Discord. But I unfortunately completely forgot about this. Oh my god, look at all that XP! And it's all free. Like, we literally don't have to do anything for this experience. This is a cool update. What the hell? Check out that experience drop. <laughs> nice. That's a fantastic haul for agility, because we're in that weird little um, summer pie having to boost for the Arduin course. Oh, no. No. I, f I absolutely, completely forgot about that. No, no, oh, I, I, I just have to embrace it then, I guess. I just have to embrace it. Well, um, 99 construction, 99 construction, 100% planned. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. I. Yeah, we might as well, like, it's uh, water under the bridge, spilt milk, no use crying. Let's go get the cape then. I'm pretty keen to get the cape. I didn't expect to <laughs> get the cape today, but because I was holding off, I wanted to do something. But that's okay. We will make do with the situation. And that is 99 construction. We've got the skill cape, and that is the 11th 99 of this account. I guess we can enjoy the perks of being able to teleport wherever we want. That's pretty cool.
you have made it through the video and you are here now, thank you so much for watching. 99 construction has been achieved and we now have a player owned house with everything that we will ever need on this account. Oh, it feels good. Not gonna lie, it feels quite good to have this all finished. Next up is the Tombs of a Mascot and we are well stuck into this. I honestly cannot wait to share this video with you guys. Once again I've put my heart and soul into this thing and I hope you guys are excited. It's gonna be a really good one. You guys are amazing, thank you so much for your support. We'll see you soon.